Hello everyone. The topic of today's discussion is magic bullet theory or hypodermic needle theory. Uh, this is more of model rather than a theory because it is not based on any empirical evidence on it is not the result of any extensive mass media audience survey. But this theory is important because it is considered as one of the earliest theories uh, of mass communication which have emerged in America because America is considered as one of the immediate consumer of any technology and so in the case of mass media also. After tremendous influence of film, a radio emerged in America in 1920s. In 1921, the first radio station was set up in America and immediately radio has become one of the major uh, information provider to American citizen. Actually, within short of two years, actually within short span of two years, nearly 60% of Americans uh, own radio set. So, the influence of film and radio on American citizens were keenly observed by mass communication theorists and this prompted them to formulate a theory called hypodermic needle theory. This is also known as magic bullet theory and people call it as strong effect theory also. The theory is a linear model of communication and talks about media's power on the audience. Linear, uh, linear model of communication means it is there is one way flow of communication and it is from top to bottom and there is vertical flow of communication. The message in the theory is uh, said to be like a magic bullet which enters into the minds of the people and injects a message uh, into the brains. So, the theory influence, uh, the theory explains how media controls what the audience views and listens to and their effect which may be immediate or it may be long term effect. The magic bullet theory graphically assumes that the media messages is like a bullet fired from media gun into the viewers head. The word bullet and the needle are also used to show powerfulness of the media as well as powerlessness of the audience. So, you can see the graphical representation of hypodermic needle model in your uh, screen. So, there is syringe and it is directly injected into the brain of audience. So, in the syringe contains certain pictures and text. So, which uh, is injected into the uh, audience brain. So, now let us see what are the factors contributed for the strong effect theory. So, uh, the first reason is the fast rise and popularization of radio and television which we have discussed earlier. Uh, within short span of two, uh, two years, nearly 60 percent of American own radio set. So, obviously, there is direct impact of radio on people's day to day life. Then there is emergence of persuasion industry. So, such as uh, advertising and propaganda. So, persuasion industries, you know, it is a branch of marketing where uh, uh, which influences people to buy product or it influences people to have an action to follow one idea or to follow one leader. Uh, the next reason is fine fund studies which have conducted in 1930s, which focused on impact of motion picture on the children and uh, society in large. The fine fund studies are studies funded by American Motion Picture Council. They wanted to look how media can affect people in a long term. So, the study run for several years and then they have submitted one report and report proved that there is immediate impact of media on the people. And there were instances of violence in the society as well as some unethical behavior in the society. Uh, then there is one more reason to uh, which contributed for development of this strong effect theory that is Hitler's monopolization of mass media during World War II to unify the Germany. So, if you read his book Main Kemper, you, uh, you can realize that how he has used propaganda tool in a scientific term. So, he has used all the possible set of media, he has used print, he has used radio, he has used film to propagate his uh, Nazi Germany or Third Reich. So, now let us see the assumptions and features of magic bullet theory. The first assumption of this magic bullet theory is individuals are atomized. So, according to this theory, in an industrialized and capitalistic country, uh, people live lonely. So, if you read uh, the effect of industrialization, people left their uh, friends, relatives and family behind and they have moved to uh, cities. 
so and they didn't have anybody to rely on so they have depended on media uh, and then they were co considered as voracious consumers of media uh, the second uh, assumption which uh, the theory proposes is audience are uniform according to this theory audience receives the same message from same media and then there is uh, like similar attitude and beliefs which can be created by media messages so audience are uniform they are not diversified the third assumption is audience are passive according to this theory uh, people are not rational they don't think they just receive whatever uh, like media dumped uh, in front of them they don't think and they just receive the messages unquestioningly and then fourth reason is no there is no other source of information according to this theory uh, there are no other alternative media to compare media text so but all these um, uh, assumptions and later period proved flaw uh, but to support this theory there was an interesting example happened in america in 1938 and uh, that example is considered considered as classic example for existence of hypodermic needle theory or magic bullet theory so that incident proved that radio can uh, impact people directly and immediately uh, so it was in 1938 a ro radio drama called war of the world was uh, broadcasted in columbia broadcasting service Colum cbs is one of the national network in america it was adaptation by hg wales and directed by orson wales it was uh, uh, which was telecasted on october 30th and it was on halloween day the gist of drama was that uh, there is life in mars and martian Martians can come and attack on the earth. Uh, the radio drama was presented as a news bulletin. There was narration from radio jockey and uh, uh, in the meantime there were interviews with the experts. Uh, but remember it was a scientific fiction drama. Uh, it, uh, it is said that nearly 1 million people listened that radio, radio drama and they believed that uh, actually martians are attacking earth and there are uh, like spa spacecrafts which uh, which were carrying the aliens into the earth so nearly million people they rushed into street there were uh, traffic uh, blockade there were stampede uh, in the new jersey city and there were people uh, they wanted to witness the alien attack on the earth and there are some people they want to you know find a safer place so finally this radio drama created panic among the people so even though this radio drama proved that there is you know existence of magic bullet theory uh, but still there were criticism on this theory uh, so if you look at the criticism of hypodermic needle theory uh, the theory assumed that uh, the people are passive and they are easily influenced by the messages which might not be true every time sometimes people are rational they think so and then the second criticism is that the theory has been proved to fail by many studies like people's choice the people's choice is a study which uh, you know uh, wanted to test media influence on the people and surprisingly that study proved that media has little lesser role on uh, people's decision but uh, the, the peers and the interpersonal influence uh, have a high hand on people's decisions and then the third criticism is that the theory is not taken as an uh, empirical study because it is not based on any aggressive mass communication research and finally there are many media options which are available uh, uh, after growth of media outlets today uh, so people cannot uh, people won't depend on single uh, media and they are not exposed to single media message messages so in conclusion the theory is based on the assumption on human behavior and it is not based on any empirical research so today it is proved uh, completely disapproved and dis uh, discredited by the theorist but the existence of magic bullet theory can be uh, realized in extreme situations like war and disaster etc but in the normal location this theory always proved wrong so with this i will conclude today's session so we'll meet again with another concept thank you thank you for watching